you could do. Stop eating the pasta and watch his blood pressure drop or watch the pounds come off or watch the cholesterol go down. These are the three major things that sugar does that, uh, that impact our health dramatically. Number one, sugar will raise your blood fats and your blood cholesterol. Number two, sugar will raise your blood pressure. And number three, sugar will raise your poundage. It'll make you fat. Right. So, so when he stops eating the pasta, what's going to happen? He's going to drop the pounds. He's going to drop his cholesterol and his, and his uh, blood fats, and his blood pressure will drop. This accounts for three of the most important aspects of our, our lack of health in this country. Blood fats and, and, and fatty liver and, and changes in how we process fats, uh, hypertension and cardiovascular disease in general, and uh, obesity. These are all sugar issues. They're not doctor issues. I'm sorry, but I accidentally let our last caller, KC, from Pennsylvania go because he's dealing with diabetes. Listen, type 2 diabetes affects 100 million people in this country, well, or maybe even more. About. Of that's, course you should be. My, and I think he is beginning, beginning to be concerned well, about it. You know, get on this. Get, there's, and there's I two, say to him, but you're, you're getting too much sugar, but it, there's just that I just eat there. I just eat pasta. Well, look, <laughs> I, I can't help you with your husband, so well, I, 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 mean, I don't know what to do. We are, we are about to do the, together, we're about to do that, uh, that uh, liver cleanse with, with um, uh, Dr. Group. And, you okay, know, I, don't know, I don't know what the liver, the best liver cleanse is to stop eating. That's well, the best yeah, liver cleanse. That. <laughs> you don't need but, a product to do a liver cleanse, in my humble opinion. And well, I wouldn't for waste... six I, days, he won't be eating any of this stuff, is what I'm trying okay. to say. And it's a, okay. it's a strict diet. And, and so for six days, he's not going to be eating any of this stuff. Okay. And I was hoping during that six days, if I could sort of, you know, show him it on black and white paper, you know, this is what's equating to this, but I guess I can't. Because I tried it one time, and I, I think, guess I was going by calories. Uh, well, you, for the label on the box and the label on the sugar cube box. Well, there's two kinds of carbohydrates on on us on the on the, uh, on the label. You're going to have the kind of carbohydrates that are represented by fiber, and then you have the kind of carbohydrates that are represented by sugar. Fiber is not processed the same way as sugar. Sugar is the problem. So, right. not necessarily, it's going to be a little bit hard to understand on the on the ingredient deck how much sugar he's getting. But if he roughly wants to, if he wants to figure it out roughly, he can just divide uh, the amount of uh, uh, the amount of calories that he's getting from sugar, and I think sugar has uh, per gram, let me see how much it has, calories per gram, I think it's like nine calories per gram, something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. It's not, is it nine calories per gram? Oh, so, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, no, it's uh, four calories per gram, I think. Let's see what it says here. According to the American Heart Association, sugar has, uh, there's all kinds of different numbers here. Sugar has about four calories per gram, so you can do oh. the math if he wants to, but it's right. not necessary to do it that way. Just taste the pasta, let it dissolve. <laughs> And, uh, and and he'll taste the sugar. Simple as that. Don't don't overthink things. Thanks for your okay. call, Mary. And also, by All the right. way, the Sweeties and the B complex, especially niacin, niacin, and vitamin B1, and the Sweeties, chromium, vanadium, are the most important sugar metabolizing nutrients. Although selenium is important, and magnesium is important, and zinc is important as well. But the B complex, uh, stupendously vital, and chromium and vanadium. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go, Mary. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it very much. Let's go to Bunny in Michigan. What's up, Bunny? Welcome to the bright side. Hi, Ben. Um, I've been listening to you for some time now, but I begin to learn from you, and then it gets overwhelming. So, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry to do that. I don't know how else to... I'm trying to make it less overwhelming. What's overwhelming to you, Bunny? Well, I have... Um, my main thing is uh, extreme joint pain. I'm in pain almost 24-7, unless I, I don't move. I've already had... That's not good. ...a vascular necrosis of the femoral head. Okay. And I had a hip replacement two years ago. Okay. It was a vascular a necrosis just means of the femoral head, just means the bone is dying because it's not getting blood supply. Right. All of and this... I went past that. So I, okay. went two year, I, I took two inches off my leg bone because I was on a cane for about a year and a half. How old are you, Bunny? 67. Okay, got one word for you, and that's all. We're going to simplify it. And okay. I, I know I'm sometimes overwhelming. I don't mean to be, but... Oh, no, that's okay. Okay, I'm going to have one word. We're going to simplify it. One word is simple, right? So this right. cuts through everything. Inflammation. Now, right. you should be asking what the heck is, is inflammation. How does that work? Inflammation is defense. So I know I've said it a bunch of times, but I'll say it again because we've got a lot of new listeners, and, and re repetition is reinforcement. Right. Inflammation is the body's way of protecting itself. When you hear the word inflammation, what you're dealing with is a beaver's dam. A beaver's dam kind of like surrounds the water and keeps the water trapped. Well, inflammation does the same thing. It surrounds an injured area and keeps that injured area sequestered from the rest of the body. This is a good thing. 
Right. You can't heal without inflammation. The problem is when it's chronic and it's long-term. So when you have a condition like, like joint pain that doesn't go away or avascular necrosis, which is a severe, severe condition, you've got long-term inflammation, a beaver's dam that's not going away. You follow me? Yeah. So we got to figure... Yeah, my joint and my thumb... Well, hang on. Let me, Bunny, I've only got about a minute, so I want to get okay. you some answers here, okay? So inflammation is the way the body's protecting itself. When you have long-term inflammation, the only thing you need to know is what is my body protecting itself from? Well, okay. it's not protecting itself from, from angel dust, right? It's not protecting right. itself from little arrows that elves are shooting at you. You know, it's not protecting you from evil clouds in the air. It's protecting itself the body's protecting itself from something that's getting inside chronically over and over and over again. And unless you're in the back alley shooting crack, which I don't think you are, Bunny, no. the chances are pretty good that your body's protecting itself from something you're eating over and over and over again. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to guarantee this with 100% certainty. You have had a digestive condition for decades. Yeah. Not for, for decades. And I'm not a psychic. I'm a pharmacist. I'm telling that's you how right. it works. Okay? okay. Right. So, Bunny, if you were to fast for a couple of days, do a Swero V fast, all right? Okay. Get yourself on the Swero V. Do half a bottle every hour for 12 hours or 24 hours or, or even longer. You're going to notice your symptoms subside. Because okay. every time we eat, even good food, let alone problem food, even good food, our body's uh, immune system wakes up. An inflammatory response is initiated by everything, especially dead food, especially processed food, especially food that causes allergic or, or immune responses. But any food will do it. So fasting, number one, is the first thing to do. Then you start to add foods in. After you fast, you start to eat foods. Probably starting with your favorite foods is a good idea. And notice that as soon as you eat your bread or your pasta or your potatoes or your cereal or whatever it is you love, your inflammation gets worse and your pain gets worse, and then you know that's a food that you need to eliminate. Then you simultaneously, I don't want to say sequentially, but at the same time, you support digestive health with probiotics, the Biolumin Nightly Essence, fermented foods, use the Jordan Rubin products. They're absolutely wonderful for getting you good bacteria. Make sure you're using your Fucoid Z and your Healthy Start Pack especially, including the Ultimate EFAs. Support digestive health and you'll notice your joint problems improve. You probably have high blood pressure issues and weight issues too, and those will improve as well. Wish we had more time, Bunny, but that's all we got time for on the Bright Side, and apologize for leaving you on hold. If we did that, call back tomorrow, tell our call screener that, that we left you on hold. We'll get you first up. Thanks for listening, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Check out my website, truthtreatments.com, and our retinol 5% cream, 5% gel, as well as brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. We'll talk to you all later. Have a spectacular, awesome, wonderful day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Bye for now.